Madonna fans and friends, and welcome to another episode of Diva News. And we have a lot of news for you in this episode, as we are now about eight days away from the finale of the Celebration Tour in Copacabana Beach. And there's a lot of more information we have, courtesy of Guilherme, who lives in near Sao Paulo, Brazil. And he's been able to acquire some information, again, for us from some very reputable um, organizations, news organizations. I'm not sure if they're magazines or just like online, but they're called uh, Globo, uh, Globo TV or just Globo Network uh, as one of the sources, as well as Band and Terra. And we um, just got a lot of this information in, so it's fresh, and I'm ready to share it with you guys. And I want to thank you for watching this video as we get into it. First of all, it's, um, like I said, the countdown is on, and you can see it right away because there is a stage that's almost ready on the beach. We finally get to see a visual of what we were kind of visualizing in the last episode of Diva News with the uh, map that was showing us how things are going to look. So this is really coming together. And as you can see, but we'll get into it here, uh, the stage, from what we understand, um, I'm probably going to um, not remember all the dimensions because... Uh, Due to my visual impairment, I'm going off of memory here, but it's double the size of the uh, normal size stage for these concerts that we've been having um, in the arenas, just because we have a much bigger audience, which we're going to talk about that um, as well. But um, I think it's in feet, we got a conversion here. It's 1,664 square feet is the length of the stage. We're going to have three catwalks, the longest one being about 70 square feet, I think. Uh, and then um, the uh, almost 60, um, 60 feet to the ceiling. Um, there's going to be a high ceiling and it's going to be up higher as well. So everyone can see what's going on on stage from the vantage points because we're having um, not just the, the amount of people that are going to be able to see the show. Uh, as we talk about the size, but also because just the scope of, uh, you know, how far away people are going to be to see the show. Think if you remember Live Aid, think something like that. We're going into an outdoor situation here. So um, the staging would need to be um, altered in order for everyone to be able to get a good view. And, uh, and so that all of this does make sense that the extension of the sizing dimensions, but um, again, the numbers, I'm still wrapping my head around these numbers. I know Guilherme was wrapping his head around these numbers, but the projected numbers, and I mean, I could even rise just because this is just projected by the, um, sponsors and official organizations, but they're thinking it's going to be over a million people in the audience, like somewhere between, um, a million and a million and a half. And that's just boggling my mind it should boggle anyone's mind i just i'm trying to see this in my head and it's like oh my god this is insane and so exciting you know um i mean just the coverage this is going to have everywhere and um and so in the next slide we're going to talk about some more of the details including um the broadcasts and a special guest and um yeah i just but again, the numbers, um, it's going to be it's going to be just one of those events. As they said, it's one of the biggest of her career. And I, I'm trying to think of one that would beat that other than Live Aid or something. And I can't. I can't. So and this is her, just her. This isn't like everyone else, you know, other bands and stuff. So, um, yes, um, there is. I mean, there's nothing that uh, I can put up against that. And just that it's going to be in Brazil, where she has such a huge fan base. Uh, they're going to be so excited for her. We're going to see so much coverage. Um, just amazing. Just amazing. So now let's talk a little bit more with some more details for the upcoming finale on May 4th in Copacabana Beach. 
in Brazil. Uh, we now know who the opening act is going to be, and it's going to be Diplo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, sometimes I get his name wrong, but he's going to be opening the show. Um, he'll be starting at 8 p.m. Um, and doing a show inspired by, he's very inspired by a lot of the funk music that's going on in Brazil, which would include Anita and many other artists. Um, so it's going to be very inspired by that. And of course, they're projecting Madonna to be taking the stage at her usual time between 9.30 and 10 p.m. Um, I imagine that, you know, because everything is set up with security and everything, that the timing is all pretty pre, uh, pre-planned, pre you know, because being it's going to be outdoors, you know, they're going to have all the security. We talked about this in the last episode as to how they're going to be um, conducting that. And so it's pretty much the standard time format. He's starting a little bit earlier. And we talked about the Anita situation, uh, seeing as how she was supposedly going to be at the Met Gala. Now, I would think, again, after hearing the projected audience attendance numbers, maybe she should reconsider and, you know, going on with Diplo at the beginning would be a great opportunity to get the crowd pumped up with the funk music as well as coming out later with Madonna. This is not something that we know about or have any um, clarity on because as far as we know, she's not going to be there. But I hope she'll reconsider because I think that would be a great opportunity for her. And maybe they'd sing their song together. You never know. I mean, that would be a great surprise. So let's fingers crossed that that uh, piece of information isn't true and that we, we get that opportunity. But as well as that, we have to think about, well, how is everyone going to watch this? I mean, obviously in Brazil, they have some networks that are going to be broadcasting the show. Um, this would include multi-show. And if you're in Brazil, let us know a little bit more about what you know about some of the um, about these networks and everything. But multi-show is one. And Globo TV is the other one. And they're going to be having the broadcasts. Now, I don't know if this is um, going to be on YouTube or if uh, apparently Globo does have a YouTube channel. So we can keep an eye out for that. Um, as far as for the rest of us, the audiences, as to how we're going to watch it, um, we're going to have to, you know, keep an eye out on if there's going to be any um, apps that are going to, you know, you're going to have to be on this app and stream from this one or that one. I would imagine there'd be something. Um, so we're hoping to hear more news on that and see if there's a way um, that's like universal everyone would have access to and and remembering the time differences depending upon where you are um like for me here in the west coast um and i know this because of guilherme it's four hours ahead so if it's going to start at between 9 30 and 10 you're going to want to be there between 5 30 and 6 but that depends again on where you are either in the united states or elsewhere and so those are some of the details we have. Um, let me see, have I discussed, if I got it, everything that we got so far? I think so. This is the opening act. And um, again, going back to um, just the sheer numbers of what we're about to experience in just a little over a week is just insane. But hopefully this is giving you a picture and I will keep you updated. Madonna is striking a pose on the cover of another magazine. We talked about re-edition in the last episode, and I um, learned from MLVC Podcast, I believe it was. It's um, a a Mexican um, magazine, Uh, so um, that would be harder to uh, obtain. Um, for anyone um, in the States or anything, but that's, um, so it's an, it would be an import. Um, but I do believe that Drowned Madonna on Facebook, you can, they just posted um, the interview there. If you want to check out the interview, read a little bit of it and see what she said in there. Uh, they have that translated. Um, 
over at Drowned Madonna uh, on Facebook. So uh, I'm definitely going to check that out in a little bit here and see. Because um, it, it, you know, it'll be fun to hear what she has to say about being on this tour. Because there hasn't, obviously she hasn't been giving interviews while on tour. Um, but here's a new magazine. This is for the Brazil fans. This is their new billboard cover celebrating her return or triumphant return to Brazil. Um, and so this is a gorgeous cover. We always love the billboard covers. And so another one to be looking for. And um, if you get any of these magazines, let us know in the comments um, what you uh, managed to acquire from the new magazines that have come out. Madonna's official store has also been showcasing some new items. I went over there just to look at some of the stuff that we've seen already. And well, there's new stuff there. Um, a lot of it is promoting the um, celebration tour in Rio. So we've got a whole line of stuff there and everything from the shirts to tote bags to um, limited edition lithographs uh, are available for purchase as well as a few other shirt designs. I saw a shirt that was her outfit, the negligee outfit from the celebration tour. I think there's a hung up quote on that one. It's a really nice shirt. And there's also um, a couple shirts with, um, could be like, now excuse me um, ahead of time, I apologize. Uh, due to my visual impairment, I couldn't see the shirts very well, but I think they're kind of artistic artwork type shirts with quotes from the song Waiting from Erotica. So if you are an Erotica fan, this is your chance to scoop up some of those items as well, some vintage uh, th taking it back, taking it back to uh, 92. And um, um, everything, the price wise, as far as the um, shirts are the same, uh, looking around $45. And um, of course, the more limited edition stuff is going up higher than that. Um, I think there is the rosary for Brazil. If you are, this is, a, I mean, with that, you need to go now. Um, running $200. I knew about uh, this from MLVC podcast, apparently. The one that gets thrown out by Bob the Drag Queen at every show. Wished I would have had money for the Seattle one, but um, they'll put a few up on the store around the time before the show. And you can purchase one. Um, very limited. So if you manage to get one of those, uh, tell us about it. Um, looks like a really unique and a wonderful collectible item to have um, definitely to investment piece investment piece but those are definitely in the store right now any any options that you might want to have to celebrate madonna's return to brazil and some of the other items as well and let's not forget where is madonna right now uh she's been in mexico city which was originally the end of the celebration tour for a five night run and it's been amazing the audience has been giving her so much love we've been seeing all the reactions and the footages uh here's a photo this is a great photo um during the vogue sequence um it was shared by Madonna News. Make sure you uh, subscribe to these uh, Facebook groups, our Facebook pages. Uh, we have Madonna News. We have Drowned Madonna, always with the latest news. But here in this in this case, this was um, a fan who had been to the shows in Mexico City. Uh, I believe it's at Dave underscore in underscore the Bay. Um, uh, is the handle and uh, this is straight from the Mexico City shows with a special guest in the ballroom sequence. Thank you, uh, Dave, for these photos. Um, and yeah, there's just been a lot of great footage. Um, they're giving her so much love. She talked about in one of the sequences about her love for Frida Kahlo and how she's been inspired by that all throughout her career and just thankful to all the fans there for all their support um just a great um great uh way to i mean it would have been a great way to end the show initially anyway but you know leading up to brazil this is just it's always awesome to see her finish um in, in latin america south america as well um the audiences there are so giving to her and we just we just can't wait to see all the the footage and um 
the appreciation. And if you have been to the shows in Mexico City, tell us how it was for you. We'd love to hear about it. And um, and we're so happy um, to get your, your feedback and your experience. And in other Madonna news, and I just checked this out today, so I'm a little late to the party, but... Madonna has a huge role in an upcoming summer blockbuster movie. And this blockbuster movie is called, um, let's see, Deadpool vs. Wolverine. So this is a Marvel, um, Marvel-based Marvel movie. And um, Wolverine, of course, from X-Men. Deadpool is another character. I don't know all the background on Deadpool, but this is going to be huge for that community, of course. And the song you're hearing right now is in the movie. And the trailer, if you go to YouTube, that's where I found it. You put in Deadpool vs. Wolverine trailer. You're going to hear this quite um, quite a bit in the, in the trailer. It's like all throughout. And they're using... Um, and for people who are coming to this video because of that movie trailer, um, and you're going to the, the video version, this is actually the 12-inch dance version that they're using uh, in the trailer. So if you want to hear that version, you want to look that one up uh, from the remixed prayers, um, which we all love. And But it's uh, during a crucial scene in the trailer, and it's got over 10 million views already. I think it was just posted. Everyone's loving it and going to hear like a prayer. It's getting um, streams on spotify um there's talk that it might hit the charts because of this and right on the 30 is it 35th anniversary i think that's what they were saying uh of yeah we, we just we just covered that oh the time has gone by so fast but yes for the 35th anniversary this would have been number one 35 years ago right now and people want to see that happen again. And I'm I'm a hype. Let's do this, you know, right? If any song deserves it, this is the one. So we're going to be, um, you know, putting in our efforts to see that it gets there. Um, and, you know, just being able to be excited about the movie, sharing this moment with, if you're a fan of these franchises, if this movie is something you'll be going to see, um, tell us a little bit about it. And um, are you excited about having this song featured in the movie? We know that we don't always get Madonna songs in movies, so this is a big one. And uh, let us know what you think. We want to thank you again so much for watching this video, the latest Diva News. And we'll keep updating you as we know more. Of course, if there's any breaking news, we will come uh, sooner than that. But if not, you want to check for us on Fridays as we will post the latest news and let you know what's going on in Madonna's world. Um, I wanted to also um, give a shout out. We have over at our Facebook group, Madonna Everybody Fan Club. We just posted our April Fan of the Month, Roman, I hope I say his name right, Nurmemagi. Nurmemagi. I hope I said that right. If I did, didn't, I apologize. But he is our April Fan of the Month, uh, an amazing artist from Estonia. And he has done some incredible artwork that has been featured in the Rebel Heart Tour, if you remember when they had the artwork on the, on the screen. And so he's got some great um, answers to the Madonna questions we asked him and some stories to tell over at Madonna Everybody Fan Club. You should definitely join. We have a contest running right now. You could be a fan of the month, as well as share with um, almost 5,000 other Madonna fans in the community your love for Madonna. Tell us about the shows you've seen on this tour. Let's do. Uh, let's let's remember. I mean, uh, it's it's been an amazing experience since October, and one long-awaited one because of all that we've gone through last year. So let's talk about it, share our experiences, and I'm so happy that you have joined us here in our Madonna community here. Um, definitely like, subscribe, and let us know what you'd like to see more of, and we'll see you in the next one. Are you looking for a great Madonna fan club to join? We have a place you need to be at, at Madonna Everybody Fan Club, not only this channel, but we also have a Facebook group and a Facebook page titled Madonna Everybody Fan Club. You should definitely come check us out and join. 
We have contests, fan of the month, features, articles, and a great community for you to get to know and share your Madonna love with other fans. We also would love for you to comment, like, and subscribe on this video and tell us what you think. What do you like to see more of in this channel? We're here for you and Madonna fans rock. So have a great day. Thank you.